thank you all for coming. I really appreciate it. I think this is a new record for town hall meetings. So thank you. Nebraskans took part in a heated town hall meeting tonight. Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us. That's right. Hundreds came out to ask Congressman Jeff Fortenberry questions. They hit on many topics, and the meeting wasn't without controversy. Channel 8 Eyewitness News reporter Nicole Cousins has more in tonight's top story. Nicole? That's right, Rod and Megan. Congressman Fortenberry says he wanted to hold this town hall because, quite frankly, he can't keep up with all the emails and phone calls that he's received lately. Today's town meeting was heated at times, but it finally provided a dialogue between Nebraskans and the man who serves them in Washington. A heated but constructive debate during Nebraska's first town hall of 2017. Congressman Jeff Fortenberry stood in front of nearly 1,000 people, taking questions and input from those he represents. Obviously, there was a lot of diverse opinions here, and uh, I think he tried to answer uh, the best he could. Uh, he's here to represent all of us. It's a difficult task, especially with the climate in Washington at this time. The main focus, the future of America's health care. Fortenberry has helped to generate ideas for a new system that would repeal and replace the Affordable Care Act. Despite some harsh criticism from constituents on Monday, he says the ACA is not the answer, and he firmly believes a new plan will help move America in a direction that will stabilize health care. My responsibility and goal tonight was to try to have a robust, reasoned conversation about the nature of the current system, which is becoming more and more un unaffordable for many people, and yet how we pull certain aspects of it forward, protecting people with pre existing condition, keeping children on their parents' plan longer. I think that's smart. I supported that before the new law. The conversation, though, wasn't without controversy. <laughs> Congressman Fortenberry faced the offensive on many of his answers particularly when one woman asked him about defunding Planned Parenthood and how it would impact the future of women's care. I do not support taxpayer funding for abortion. <laughs> Planned Parenthood says abortion accounts for 3% of its services. Frankly, I was a bit disappointed at the lack of civility at our meeting, and I feel due to the lack of civility, there was not a possibility for great exchange of ideas. I was hoping for some more nuance, really seeking to understand and then be understood, and I missed that tonight. Fortenberry was also asked about diplomacy, gun control, and his support of President Trump. Despite an outspoken crowd, Nebraskans finally got the town hall many have been asking for. Fortenberry did say in the rowdiness of the crowd at times was predictable given the current climate. He also said, though, he hopes that this can be the start of an open process between him and his constituents in Nebraska. Quite the people, and what a showing, too. Absolutely. Nicole Cousins, thank you for the story.